So I've spent a lot of time over the last uh, three years out in Serengeti National Park studying how large carnivores coexist given that they compete for the same food resources and they also chase and kill each other. One of the ways I've been doing this is setting out a massive grid of remote automatic cameras called camera traps. And these cameras, I put them on trees and they, uh, they're triggered by a combination of heat and motion so that when animals walk by, the camera snaps a picture. I've been working in the Serengeti for 33 years. And over that long period of time, there's been an incredible number of technological advances, but nothing is as exciting or as engaging as the latest development in our long-term studies. Because now we're generating more data than we know what to do with. And we want to include you in our research projects from the very beginning. What we're doing is collecting data on camera traps that are set out in a grid of a thousand square kilometer area of the Serengeti, surrounding our lion study area. There's leopards there, there's hyenas, there's cheetah. And we need to know how they use that habitat with respect to each other. We want to know how the leopards manage to coexist with the lions. We want to know how the lions follow the migration on a very small scale from one hundred yard move to another. So we want to have a much better detail than we've ever been able to get before because of these cameras. But these cameras collect about one million photographs every year. We've been working with a group of dedicated undergraduates here in Minneapolis who help us by looking at each picture and telling us, is that a zebra? Is it a wildebeest? And they were able to do about tens of thousands every couple of months. But we need to do millions. And that's why we need you. Currently, the way we collect our data, it's all assembled on flash disks in the middle of the Serengeti National Park. We have to wait months sometimes to bring those disks back over here. So we're not really able to say what's going on on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. What we'd like to do is to have your help so that we can put these pictures by satellite back here in Minnesota so we can get them on the web and we want you to be amongst the first people to see those pictures. <laughs>